Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. On this video clip we're going to talk about synthetic division. This is another way to do division of polynomials. In a previous video clip we talked about long division. Let's see how this synthetic division works and it, in my opinion, is a very nice method to do division of polynomials. Why do I say that? Because we we go to an, uh, from an algebraic process to a numerical process. Um, if you see here, I, I drew this uh, L, let's call it like that. Uh, and what am I going to put here? I'm going to put the coefficient, the numbers that goes with this polynomial. So we have x cubed, that means 1, to plus 3x squared, that means a 3, minus x, that means negative 1, and minus 3. So yeah, we list all these uh, numbers, the coefficients of each term. And then we have x minus 1. Here down I'm going to put 1. Uh, and from now on I can do the synthetic division. Uh, the first step in this synthetic division is to drop this uh, first uh, number. In this case it was 1, so it's going to be 1. And from now on we're going to do some uh, multiplication and then some... Uh, addition. So we have here 1 times 1. We're going to multiply this one with this one and that gives us 1. Okay, and then we're going to add these two guys and we get 4. Then we're going to multiply uh, again this one by this 4. 1 times 4 is 4 and again we're going to add we have negative 1 plus 4, that is positive 3. And we have one more time to do it. So let's see, we're another color, yeah. We're going to do this one. That's times this 3. 1 times 3 is 3. We're going to add them and we get 0. And the last number here, the last guy here is what we call the remainder. Okay. And what are these other guys? Eh? These guys represent the answer. Let's see what the answer is. In fact, 1x squared, right? Here, the original one was x cubed. We divide by an, an x. The common sense actually tells us that there's going to be x squared. So 1x squared plus 4x. Drop one more. So this was a power of 2. That will be power of 1 plus 3. Yeah, that is the answer. x squared plus 4x plus 3. Pause this video clip and try to do number 34. If you end up with this answer, and this division, x squared minus 2x plus 2, then you did a wonderful job. Uh, let's move to these two problem, and you see now here we have uh, cubics also, uh, but we have x plus 3 and x plus 4. The same story, 3, 17, 21, and negative 9. And now look at here, we have x plus 3, here we're going to have negative 3. Okay. Uh, similar with the other one, we're going to drop the first gentleman, and it was 3 now, so we're going to be 3 down here. And then we're going to do the multiplication and addition. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. If we add these two guys, we get uh, 17 plus negative 9 is 8. Uh, negative 3 times uh, 8, uh, negative 24. If we add these two guys, we get negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And the remainder is 0. Again. So the answer would be here 3x squared plus 8x minus 3. 
Pause this video clip and try to do number 36. If you end up with this answer, x squared minus 11x plus 37 plus negative 128 over x plus 4, then you did a wonderful job. Just let me let me point on uh, something. Um, yeah, the remainder is not zero here anymore. So you do have to have this part uh, in your answer. And let's take a look at these uh, two examples, number 37. Look at here on number 37. Very, very interesting. We have x to the 4 power. Eh? Yeah, that is 1. But then we have nothing else until we get to the negative 1. We don't have x cubed. Well, I'm going to put a 0, 0 x cubed. We don't have x squared. Well, I'm going to put a 0, 0 x squared. We don't have x. So I'm going to put 0. And we're going to put this negative 1. And we divide by x minus 1. And if you remember from the first problem, we're going to put 1. And the same story, you're going to drop the 1, and we're going to do the same process we did in the previous problem. 1 times 1 is 1, if we add is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, if we add is 1, again, and you see, very similar, and uh, here at the end, 1 times 1 is 1, and we get a reminder of 0. <clears throat> so what is this answer here? We divided a uh, polynomial that is 4 degree by x minus 1, that, so this one will be third degree. 1x cube plus 1x square plus 1x plus 1. This is the answer of that division. Okay? Do not forget, do not forget to use these zeros if you do not have the terms. So go ahead and try number 38. If you end up with this answer, x squared minus 3x plus 9, you did a wonderful job. Uh, let me mention uh, something. Synthetic division, like you see, is a nice, very nice way to do division of polynomial. However, it does work only for things like x minus a, x plus a. Okay, x minus a number, x plus a number, right? Uh, you cannot do synthetic division for uh, dividing by, for example, x squared minus 1. Okay, you cannot do the synthetic division. If you enjoyed this video clip, uh, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more math video clip.